Hey guys. Tickety. What are you doing here? I heard you need your notebooks to play Tigger's Clues. So I came over here to bring them to you. Here they are. Thanks, Tickety. You're welcome. And is SpongeBob going to need his notebook too? No. He's working in the Krusty Krab kitchen. So he won't be able to play Tigger's Clues with us today. Oh, okay. See you guys back at the clubhouse. To play Tigger's Clues, we gotta find a paw print. Oh, a paw print. Right. And that's our first clue. A clue? A clue. And then we put it in our notebook. Because they're Tigger's Clues. Tigger's Clues. We gotta find another paw print. That's the second clue. We put it in our notebook. Because they're whose clues? Tigger's Clues. We gotta find another paw print. That's the third clue. We put it in our notebook. Because they're Tigger's Clues. Tigger's Clues. You know what to do. Sit down in our thinking register boat. And think, think, think. Because when we use our minds, take a step at a time, we can do anything. Who are you? That we want to do. Are you ready to play Tigger's Clues so we can figure out what we will do after the tour? You're? Great. Let's go look for clues here at the Krusty Krab. A clue. A clue. Did you see a clue? Where? Over there. Oh, there's a clue. And it's on these sesame seed buns. I'll draw this clue in my handy dandy notebook. First we draw a circle. And some teardrop shapes for the sesame seeds. Then we draw another circle. And some more teardrop shapes. There. Sesame seed buns. So we're trying to figure out what we will do after the tour. And our first clue is... Sesame Seed Buns. So what could we do after the tour with Sesame Seed Buns? Maybe. But we should find two more clues to figure this out.